Reasons You're Afraid to Succeed, Part 2. Welcome back to Startup Life Support, the place where we trade excuses for solutions. I'm your coach, Aisha Cogborn. Now last week, if you weren't here, we kicked off our series on the reasons why you're afraid to succeed. So if you missed last week's video, be sure to check it out as soon as we're done here. But let's go ahead and move on to this week's reason. You ready? You're afraid to succeed because you're afraid of people's response to your success. Let me tell you a story about a Fortune 500 corporation that I do work for. Now, they often compete against small companies for government contracts. And even though they have a greater economic impact than some of the smaller companies that are bidding, the folks that are deciding who gets the contract often end up catching flack if they don't give the contract to the little guy. But here's the part that completely amuses me. The big company used to be the little guy back in the 60s, but they were successful. So when did success become a punishable offense? Now, I know you're like, okay, Aisha, why are you telling me this story? It has something to do with you. Just trust me. Don't you trust me by now? Come on, people. So here's what it has to do with you. We are naturally wired to cheer for the underdog. So don't be surprised if as you start to become more successful, the same people who were cheering you on now become critical. It happens. Well, you know what? Maybe you're not trying to build a multi-billion dollar corporation, but you're afraid of how your own family and friends are gonna respond to your success. They may call you a little uppity because you don't have the time to hang around and talk about mindless stuff that you used to because you're trying to build a business. Or maybe your church folks are starting to question your commitment to God because you're not volunteering as much as you used to. Now this can be upsetting and I'm not gonna tell you that these criticisms won't come, they probably will. We get upset by this because we would think that the people who are around us, who know us, who care about us would understand if we need to shift our priorities to follow our dreams. But here's what you need to know about people. They're naturally wired to be selfish and to resist change. It is what it is. So here's a case where you need to be a little selfish. Create those boundaries around your time, your energy, and your peace of mind because people will stress you out. And make sure that you do what you have to do so that you can be balanced as an entrepreneur and as a person because that's what you need to be successful. So that's your tip for the week. Don't be afraid. It's going to feel a little hard, but you can do this thing. Be sure to check back next week. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a single episode. We're going to talk about it again next week here on Startup Life Support. And until next time, have a wonderful week on purpose.